Bitch, I'm 40 in my right car Bitches change, yeah, I like I ain't all this Get in money, nigga, that my main focus Alright, here, back up again with another video And today, we're going to be looking at the new rival finisher nerf gun This nerf gun is part of the rival series Which, if you don't know what the rival series is It shoots the yellow balls <laughs> Balls but it depends what nerf gun you get, because there's some rival guns that are green. And they have green, they have green balls. Those are really the only different colors that they have. Unless you got the Deadpool Kronos, but there's the green ball. And yeah, so this is the gun right here. And let's get into the, um, let's get into and see what it comes let's with. see what it comes with. It comes with, obviously, the blaster itself. It comes with a seven round... Stick mag, and it comes with seven rival balls. Yellow. To the overview of the finisher, on this side you just have your regular trigger, and that's pretty much it for this side. Now coming to the front of the blaster, you obviously just have the the in the end bar the barrel, and then this weird little orange thing. It's weird because it just like swoops up. I don't, you're not supposed to put your hand there, but I guess it's just there for lux. And now coming to the other side, this side, you have two things on this side, alright? You have, three things actually. You have your sling mount, so you can put your sling in there. You, you have your unjamming button, and then you have your safety switch. Um, so, um, when you pull this down, you can't press the trigger. When you push it up, you can press the trigger. And then now coming to the unjamming button... Once you prime it once, you can't prime it again. So if you wanna, if you have a jam or something, you just pull it down, swipe it, cock it back. If you wanna double, um, if you wanna shotgun load, that means there's gonna be two bullets in here, and we shoot. But obviously, if you just um have a jam, then obviously you can't press it anymore, and so you have to override that. So then you can pull the mag out and see if there's any any problems with the gun. So that's the safety switch and the unjamming button. Now, the grip. The grip, honestly, it's pretty big. But for an adult hand, it's going to be perfect for you. But if you're like around 11, 12, this is going to be pretty decent. You're going to have a bit of space right here. You're gonna have about this much space, but you know, it's still good. Uh, if you're an adult, this is definitely gonna fit you, but yeah, that's pretty much the overview of the blaster. Hope you like so it. mentioned this is a priming blaster, this is a prime blaster. So, obviously, in order to shoot, you have to prime it back, and it doesn't prime automatically by itself, so you have to push it forward, and then you're able to shoot. And one little cool thing that I found interesting was when you pull it back, when you prime it back, <laughs> this thing just booms out, and then obviously, when you cock it forward. It goes in, and I thought that was just pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This blaster, five regular yellow rival balls. Shooting in first person. personal opinion of this blaster honestly if you're gonna if you want to get your first rival blaster i say you go with a finisher either the finisher or the chronos the chronos is pretty much the same as this except it's not a mag there's um there's like an inserted mag in the blaster 
So um, you cock it back, you lift up a little door that's right here. You, like pretend this is the door, you just lift it up, and then you grab balls and you push the balls in there, and then you're good to go. So honestly, if you're a Nerf guy, and you really want to get a Rival Blaster for the first time, I suggest you get this one, or the Kronos. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe, and I'll try and put a link of this blaster in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.